my hope is, my aim if you like, is to shed quite a lot of new light on Bernstein's life and work through the revelations he made to those closest to him in letters. I decided to focus really on, I suppose, four areas, not exclusively at all. Most prominent of all, of course, is music. He was first and foremost a musician, a composer, a conductor, a pianist, a teacher. And so anything that had a really uh, very deep discussion of music was of interest to me. Alongside that, uh, there were also several other musicians who had uh, given their papers to the library, so it was possible to have exchanges between him and them, notably Aaron Copeland. Beyond that, of course, as a, as a conductor, he was, he was much travelled, and I was very struck by the sort of vividness of his prose in Letters Home, describing his sensations in new places. I loved those letters, and uh, so I tried to put in as many of those as I could. And finally, uh, the other big strand uh, was, were his uh, you know, passions for other human beings. I mean, his, 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 the great loves of his life and so on. Um, and obviously, uh, I wanted to make sure those went in. All the way through, there's a marvellous kind of exuberance whenever music is being talked about. Actually, especially when he's talking about other people's music, when he's talking about, uh, you know, Copeland or Beethoven or Mahler, uh, you get this uh, absolute uh, passionate conviction uh, and, and burning enthusiasm. He was clearly in love with the stuff. And the same is true when he's talking about uh, some of his own pieces. Uh, again, he's just excited by the noise it makes. There's, there's something very charming and almost childlike about that. Felicia was the greatest love of Lenny's life, and I'm absolutely certain that's true. But she was under no illusions, and one of the most extraordinary letters in the book, I think, is a letter from her uh, where she says, look, I know you're homosexual and I don't care. I still want to marry you, and I still want us to make a go of this. This book has quite a galaxy of names in it, not just musical figures like Aaron Copeland, not just Broadway figures like Stephen Sondheim and Jerome Robbins, but film stars like Betty Davis, um, politicians, uh, popular singers, Frank Sinatra, people like that, um, and also even uh, a first lady in the form of Jacqueline Kennedy, an extraordinary, extraordinary letter from her. Um, so this was a man who was sort of plugged into every aspect of American cultural life. It's by no means just about uh, music, this. You know, composers are not always great letter writers, but I think Bernstein, with his wonderful command of the written word, um, really was a great letter writer. I, I think this is a very lively correspondence. It's certainly what kept me interested while I was editing it.